President Joe Biden is speaking. Let's listen in. Joe Biden speaking for his first sit-down interview with The View. Thank you. What took so long to get into the race? We're so happy you finally <laughs> announced. Well, you know, I, the, uh, let me ask the audience. Aren't these campaigns all long to begin with? Huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not till February the first vote cast. And so I don't think it's too long. And I made it clear then from the beginning that if I was going to do this and the family was pretty sure we were going to do this a long while ago. Mm -hmm. Not to, I mean, <laughs> it's a long road. <laughs> yeah. So I think mm -hmm. this is plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Plenty of time. Well, um, you said something yesterday in your announcement video that um, really brought tears to my eyes. You said that uh, we are in a battle for the soul of this nation. And I felt that in my soul. What did you mean by that? What I mean by that is we are not, uh, this, is, this is not who we are the way we're treating people. It's not who we are as a nation when we're talking about things like uh, the reason for your problem is the other. It really, it really is what I said, and I really mean it. And I wrote an article at the time in the Atlantic magazine back when Charlottesville happened and saying that, uh, you know, this, this is not who we are. There's an American creed. It's about decency, honor, including everyone, leaving no one behind. All right, so that's a, that is just some of the interview of Joe Biden sitting down with the view. We'll bring you some more moments as they come. Dana, how do you how is that going? What do you how do you think that went? Well, it sounds like it's the beginning, and they're winding up with um, with some with some softballs, which is understandable. Uh, and we'll see we'll see as it gets going uh, mm -hmm. the questions that it's hard to imagine won't come about Anita Hill, for example. And when did he call her? Was it just? last week and why did it take 20 years to make that phone call if he feels it so deep in his heart mm -hmm. and whether or not that is that flies in the face um in, in the whole uh, of the whole point of his candidacy that he laid out yesterday in the video that he put out which is that this is a moral choice that i have an ethical and moral compass and how he squares that with the fact that he maybe just recently called Anita Hill. I mean, those are the things that he's going to have to, to talk about, whether it happens today or in the near future. I mean, that those are the humps that he's going to have to get over. With a lot of voters, he won't be able to get over them. People who are younger, who don't, who can't fathom um, some of the things that he supported in the past and have other opportunities, uh, you know, over a dozen over other opportunities uh, to, of people and candidates to vote for who don't have that baggage. Arlette, the fact that um, by the former vice president goes first to the view, and you saw Meghan McCain. He has a, he has a, he's longtime friends with the family. He counts Meghan McCain's father as one of his best friends. And no one forgets that last time he was on the View and the emotional, um, that really emotional, touching moment that they had. She asked that first question of, of what took so long, and said that she was so happy to see that he did. Um, what is the message that the Biden campaign and Joe Biden is wanting to send with this being the first place that he sits down to have an extensive talk about his candidacy? Well, I think one, there's a, a pitch that he's going to be making uh, to female voters coming on the view uh, is a, that appealing to a certain block there. But I think also what he you're going to see from him, uh, particularly when it comes to his relationship with Meghan McCain, is his ability to emote, his ability to connect with people. Part of that has been born out of his own personal experience with tragedy, uh, first with the death of his wife and 13 month the year old daughter when he was just elected to the Senate at the age of 29. And then again in 2015, when his son, Bo Biden, passed away from brain cancer, the same type of cancer that took the life of Senator John McCain. I think that on here uh, on that uh, in that table with the women of The View, I think that he and his team are probably hoping that they can show the Joe Biden, the human being, the real person and his ability to kind of relate with people. That's something that we see out on the campaign trail when he yesterday, for instance, was at the pizza shop talking to folks. Uh, I think that that's a key attribute of his uh, that his he and his allies are really trying to sell. Kate. And, and Jeff, one thing that ha that did happen today in your show, he'll be asked about it as well today, is the economy and the strength right. of the economy. Those the the GDP numbers coming out. I mean, you you it is you're reporting along with Kevin Liptak that Biden has become more of a factor than anyone else in Donald Trump's 2020 kind of game plan. But now add in the economy to this to this question. I wonder if now. 
Democrats need to be looking at their game plan and rejiggering, you know, reworking it immediately to go maybe the path of Joe Biden, right? Talk more about the character because on the economy, can they beat him on the economy right now? Well, that's an open question. Uh, we'll see how the economy is. It's certainly strong, a very strong report this morning, and the president should get credit for that. A question is, why isn't he talking about that? He's still talking about Charlottesville, still talking about consumed <laughs> by the Mueller investigation. But the reality here is, yes, uh, a strong economy for a sitting president is one of the key factors in winning election. So this is going to be a challenge for Democrats to make the argument to voters, are you better off than you were before? But we do get the sense this election may be different in the sense of is it about sort of how you know your view and your feeling for how things are and that is why Joe Biden is going after what he calls the soul of the nation he is going after that sort of moral uh, clarity here one of the reasons we're told the president is uh, you know so obsessed with uh, Joe Biden is Pennsylvania that is one of the favorite states the single um, sort of a crowning achievement, if you will, from 2016 that the president flipped from blue to red. Joe Biden, of course, from Pennsylvania, was there yesterday going back on Monday. So that is why the White House and the president indeed are so focused on Joe Biden. But boy, he has a Democratic primary to win first mm -hmm. before yeah. he goes head to head with Joe Biden. Exactly right. And to answer his audience question, aren't these aren't these campaigns too long? I think the four of us can all say absolutely not. If you love politics, <laughs> it's never long enough. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll continue to watch Thanks, the rollout Kate. from Vice President Thanks, Joe Kate. Biden.